Here are some fun things to do in New York City for free or close to it. Enjoy! Visit Central Park, not only is it one of the most well-known urban parks in the world, but it is also one of the largest urban parks in all of the world. Main attractions include formal spaces such as the Central Park Mall and Bethesda Terrace, as well as landscapes such as the Ramble and Lake, and the Hallett Nature Sanctuary. More main attractions include the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir, and Sheep Meadow, amusement attractions such as Walman Rink, Central Park Carousel, and the Central Park Zoo, and the Delacorte Theater. New York City, the city with the most people living in it, is home to Central Park. New York City is the most populous city in the United States. The park encompasses an area of more than 843 acres and features an abundance of verdant vegetation throughout its grounds, or equal to more than 637 football fields. Wow! The High Line is a hybrid public space that opened in 2009 after being saved from demolition by residents of the surrounding neighborhood in the city of New York. Visitors to the High Line can experience nature, art, and design there. In addition to that, it provides its visitors with access to a wide variety of free activities, such as the chance to go bird watching, picnicking, walking, and cycling. The park is a wonderful place to go to get away from the noise and activity of the city. You can listen to the birds sing, musicians play, kids playing and people watch. Take a walk along the High Line, a public park that was constructed on top of an abandoned elevated railway track. The High Line is located in New York City. The High Line is a public park located on the west side of Manhattan that was constructed on top of an old freight rail line elevated above the surrounding streets. It is an excellent location for taking a leisurely stroll, people watching, and simply unwinding. In addition to providing stunning perspectives of the city, it is also an excellent location for doing any of these things. In addition to the gardens and various food vendors, the park is home to a number of different art installations that can be viewed there. Visit the Brooklyn Museum. An art museum that can be found in the borough of Brooklyn in New York City is known as the Brooklyn Museum. The museum is the second largest in New York City and spans a total area of 560,000 square feet. Its art collection comprises approximately 1.5 million individual pieces. It is common knowledge that the Brooklyn Museum is home to one of the art collections that is considered to be among the most comprehensive in all of the United States. These collections include works of art from a diverse selection of time periods and styles, ranging from ancient Egyptian art to works created in more recent times. The museum is consistently rated as one of the best art museums in the country by various publications and organizations. On the first Saturday of every month, patrons are permitted to enter the museum without having to make a payment in order to do so. When you are in the city again, make sure to stop by the New York Public Library. The New York Public Library, also known simply as the NEPL, is a network of public libraries in New York City. The New York Public Library is the second largest public library in the United States, behind only the Library of Congress, and the fourth largest in the world. It has nearly 53 million items and 92 locations across the city. It is a private, non-governmental corporation that is independently managed and operates as a non-profit organization. It receives funding from both the public and private sectors. The New York Public Library is not only an important cultural landmark, but it is also one of the largest public libraries in the entirety of the entire world. The museum provides visitors with the opportunity to explore the museum's extensive collections, take part in a diverse range of activities that are free of charge, and admire the museum's breathtaking Beaux-Arts architecture. Take a stroll and take in the sights as you cross the Brooklyn Bridge, the views of the Manhattan skyline that can be seen from the Brooklyn Bridge, which is one of the most well-known landmarks in New York City, are absolutely breathtaking. Walking across the bridge is a free activity that provides a wonderful opportunity to take in the sights and sounds of the city, and it is also a good way to get an overall perspective of the area that is all around you. Pay a visit to the world-famous Times Square. Times Square is without a doubt one of the most famous public areas in the entire world. It is well known for its flashing lights, its bustling crowds, and the numerous billboards advertising a variety of products and services. If you ever find yourself in New York City, you shouldn't miss the opportunity to go to Times Square. Long Acre Square, or Long Acre Square, was the original name for what is now known as Times Square. 
It was named after London's Carriage District, which is where William H. Vanderbilt's American Horse Exchange was first located. In the late 1880s, Long Acre Square was an expansive open area that was surrounded on all sides by uninteresting apartment buildings. Even with all of the commercialization that has taken place there, Times Square is still an essential component of the New York experience, and it is highly recommended that tourists go there at least once during their time spent in the city. Explore the Lower East Side neighborhood in Manhattan, which is famous for the vibrant street art, eclectic shops, and rich cultural heritage that can be found there. The Lower East Side neighborhood is located in Manhattan. The history of the neighborhood is long and storied with many notable moments. Guests have the option of taking a self-guided walking tour of the area's history and architecture, or they can attend one of the numerous street festivals and other events that take place throughout the course of the year. If you have the opportunity, you should go to the New York Stock Exchange. The New York Stock Exchange NYSE, is the most important stock exchange in the world and it is also the largest of its kind. It is situated right in the middle of the commercial and business district of the city. Visitors are given the opportunity to take a tour of the exchange at no additional cost. During their time there, they are informed not only about the history of the organization but also about how it currently operates its trades. Pay your respects by going to the National September 11th Memorial and Museum in New York City. An emotional memorial and museum dedicated to the victims of the terrorist attacks that took place on September 11, 2001 can be found at the National September 11 Memorial and Museum. Taking in the sights of the reflecting pools, which are situated within the footprints of the original towers, can help visitors gain an appreciation for the tragic events that took place on September 11, 2001. One of the best ways to see one of the most famous landmarks in the world as well as a symbol of freedom and democracy, is to visit the Statue of Liberty by taking a ferry to the island where it is located. Many people believe that the Statue of Liberty is one of the landmarks that is most easily recognized all over the world. Free ferry rides can take visitors to Liberty Island, where they can see the Statue of Liberty and learn more about the landmark's background. Even though there is a fee required to access the crown of the statue, the trip is more than justified because the views from the base of the statue as well as the island are still remarkable and make the trip more than worthwhile. There is an abundance of other things to do in New York City that do not cost anything, such as going to the city's public markets and museums, exploring the city's neighborhoods, and looking at the city's street art. There is always something new and exciting to experience in this part of the world, and it does not matter if you were born and raised in this bustling and dynamic city or if you are just passing through. Quick history, Dutch colonists established a trading post on the southernmost tip of Manhattan Island around the year 1624, which is where New York City can trace its roots back to. In 1626, the settlement was given the name New Amsterdam, and in 1653, it was incorporated as a city. There is always something new and exciting to try.